Rosevike 1740, conservation of artefacts from the protected wreck of the Rosevike. Hi, I'm extremely thrilled that the conservation part of our Rosevike project uh, is on the shortlist for the museum awards. Every archaeological excavation needs good conservators. But especially for us, with the underwater archaeological excavation where objects uh, cannot just be easily seen, the uh, conservation people have been amazing. They uh, have done micro excavations together with the archaeologists in the lab. Uh, they have made sure that uh, lots of people could see what was happening through internet, through little clips, um, but also uh, through extensive um, uh, researches and publications um, and also um, uh, by um, uh, organizing open days, for example. So um, I am really thrilled and I hope that you will get it because without conservators, we are nowhere. Thank you. Thousands of artefacts were recovered from the protected wreck of the Rose Reich, sunk in 1740, during two seasons of excavation in 2017 and 2018. Artefacts recovered from the marine environment have specific and immediate conservation requirements. Integrating conservation into this project from the outset was paramount. The post-excavation program was managed by senior archaeological conservator Angela Middleton from Historic England. Angela managed a team of early career professionals, students and volunteers, as well as liaising with other project specialists. Underwater excavations often attract a lot of press interest, yet the lengthy conservation processes take place behind closed doors, often over many years. This, coupled with a lack of training provision for this niche aspect of conservation in UK universities, means that maritime conservation is not widely known. The Rosevike 1740 project tried to rectify this by providing opportunities for early career researchers, students and volunteers at all stages of the project. During the conservation stage, five early career professionals were employed, five student placements were hosted, and numerous volunteers worked alongside project team members. Ten training courses have been organised, aimed at professionals as well as interested members of the public. I came to the Roosevelt project as an early career conservator, and it gave me the opportunity to work on an amazing collection of completely unique objects. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm a volunteer on the Roosevelt project with the conservation team. I've really enjoyed working with the team. They're marvellous people and I've gained practical skills in conservation as well as learning a great deal about the Roosevelt wreck and the crew. The project has taken artefacts and the conservation process out to new audiences through a series of eight open days held in diverse locations, such as at this inland dive shop in the Midlands. Over 2,400 visitors have now attended an event. The conservation of 2,500 artefacts and associated documentation has been undertaken to agreed standards using widely recognised techniques and materials displaying good long-term ageing properties. Artefacts have been made available to internal and external specialists to undertake analysis to establish material composition, identification, date or place of origin. These artefacts will now go back to the Netherlands. 
So literally, from clearing up confusion about silver on board the Roswijk to uncovering beautifully engraved sabre blades, we have brought together experts from the UK and the Netherlands to piece the jigsaw of the Roswijk together. This rich and complex assemblage has since been conserved and two and a half thousand artefacts were returned to the Netherlands in November 2023. The return of the objects is significant for the Netherlands as it will enable the Cultural Heritage Agency of the Netherlands and others to show these newly conserved finds to the public to tell the story of this particular part of our shared maritime history.